Hi guys, this is Cody, and we're back with another Let's Play. Maisie, could you go in the lounge? No, no, don't go talk to Ollie what you're doing. So we guys, and we're back with another playthrough of Batman the Telltale series. So let's continue episode one. Last time we defeated Catwoman, or did we, because she stole our grapple gun. about you catching me. Not sure if it was for my sake or yours. Give up. There's no way out. <laughs> Give me some credit. He stole my guapo again. Step out of the shadows and be Bruce Wayne tonight. Oh, that's a much harder fight. Don't let tombstones be your family legacy. Well then. Time to save the city. is not used to such a ringing endorsement, even one who cut Gotham's crime rate in half. But for too long, this city has burned with corruption and greed under Mayor Hill's authority. But I promise you, a vote for Harvey Dent is a vote to finally put your foot down. And together, we can stamp out the fire and save our great city. <laughs> if only Mr. Wayne my campaign's largest backer could have heard that applause. He would, well, there he is, fashionable and fashionably late as always. I'm going to enjoy I my guess. wine. Enjoy drinking my wine. It's worth more than most of you. Oh, oh, oh. No, he's, he's kidding, everyone. <laughs> no wine is that expensive. Thank you. Thank you again, everyone, for your unwavering support. Together. We will change God. Mr. Wayne, thank you for opening your house to us. Now, I know this is the biggest mansion in Gotham, but I don't think you got lost on your way here. Okay, You're that's all she did. It was I two sides. For the brooding billionaire angle? Relax, it was important. Not more than this. I know you despise these things, and truth be told, I do too. Well, you choose to show off your teeth and talk about yourself to a room full of money? Say it ain't so. It's called playing the game, Bruce. And tonight, you hadn't noticed, I'm playing for City Hall. No one came here tonight to see me. I want to see the Bruce Wayne, am I right? <laughs> and I can see I'm just fine from here. This shouldn't be painful. It's not a kidney stone. It's only a little FaceTime with potential donors. Your face, specifically, with a mouth that's saying, Support Harvey Dent. The grease, they're the wheels. I just don't like being someone I'm not. What, what are you talking about? You are Gotham's golden sun. Let them bask in your radiant glow. This will help you too, Bruce. Once I've turned this city around as mayor, you'll be a hero for funding my campaign. Now all I need is a decent slogan. I'm terrible at those. It always makes me sound like a used car salesman. Uh, put a dent in crime. Hmm? You, it's not half bad. I'm gonna use that. Bruce, I meant what I said. Together, you and me, we change Gotham. A city free from crime, 
where children can play in the streets again. That's what I want too, Harvey, but you know how rough it is out there. We have to shake things up to make that happen. Well, it can start with a few hands. Hmm? Come on. That's Falcone. Carmine Falcone, the main villain of episode one. Call it Penguin. Hans. Mr. Wayne, I'd like to introduce you to Bob and Regina Zellerbach. Of course I know these two. Hello, Bruce. Regina here is the chairwoman of Wayne Enterprises, and her husband voted for Mayor Hill last time. I'll admit it, Mr. Wayne. I don't know Mr. Dent from a pothole on Main Street, but I trust your family. You believe in Dent, we believe in you. After all, where you support is a reflection on you. And we trust someone like you to lead this city to greatness. Well, thank you. But we're all here tonight because we want Maybe to... Maybe I'm playing this boo That's what it's going to take. Every I want to play my new game, Batman and Telltale. Not just Mr. Dent. Everyone. Right, right. Of course. No, no, go and tell Lori you're going to do it, know. Says they will remember that. You're preaching, dear. No, it's true. The Waynes and Zellerbachs are reminders of the golden age of Gotham. This city's luster faded years ago, Mr. Dent. Look at Gotham now. Murder in the streets, corruption in City Hall, that Kate Bat freak dealing out vigilante justice like it's the wild goddamn West. Oh, Bobby. Regarding golden age, seems you're getting cranky in yours. There's always hope. Forgive me for being blunt, but one man can't save the city. And it's a dangerous mentality to think so. I'd say it all depends on the man. Sometimes you need a person who will go off script. Such as dressing up in a bat costume? And taking out the criminals who ruin our city. Though the cave may be a bit much. <laughs> don't worry, though. I am not doing this alone. With Bruce's help, we're replacing the dangerously unsecure Arkham Asylum with a state-of-the-art mental health facility to help Gotham's most at-risk individuals. It will be dedicated to Thomas and Martha Wayne in the hopes that their fate will never be repeated. After all your parents did for this city, well, to be killed in a botched robbery in some alleyway, it was terrible, truly terrible. Tragedy like that at such a young age it must have been crippling. Yeah, no, it was horrid. Deranged man. Had oh, dude, that's right a long time ago. Maybe. Well, I don't like to think about maybes, and I'm sure you don't either. Uh, yes, well, that was a long time ago. I've moved on. Of course, of course. Together, we'll help the whole city. that going. Right now, I'm picturing another drink. You know, I was kind of hoping you would mention my campaign, or at least my name. And now I'm picturing that drink, too. Oh, well, hello. Now, Harvey Dent, Gotham's next mayor. I'm eager to know you. Last time I made him be some of the This is a private fundraiser, Miss Vale. No reporters allowed. Well, you don't mind if I stay and ask a few questions, do you, Mr. Wayne? Well, you can ask me whatever you want at the press conference tomorrow. No, no, it's all right. You can stay. Thanks. Bruce? This is quite the social event, Mr. Oh, Wayne. Come on now, it's so formal. Call me Bruce. Well, <laughs> Bruce, you've been going around pleasing everyone tonight. But how are you doing? You should enjoy your own party. Just between us. Politics bore the hell out of me. Yep, they do. I don't think you're the type to get his hands dirty. Oh, you'd be surprised. Vicky will remember that it says. Mr. Wayne. I'm a bit quite sarcastic that you hear. Uh, is that blood? I'm going to cut myself shaving because yeah. I've never done oh, this. No, it's nothing. Myself shaving. What? Your butler didn't help you this time? Hey, kidding. Kidding. Do excuse me, Master Bruce, but uh, another guest 
has arrived. I'm sure they'll find the bar. You may want to greet this one personally, sir. Uh-oh, it's Carmine Falcone. Carmine Falcone? Is the Dent campaign soliciting votes from Gotham's biggest crime family? Falcone's never been convicted of anything, except being a businessman who loves this city. Excuse us, Miss Bell. enough votes to get me into City Hall. This is the necessary evil of politics, Bruce. It's in the service of a better Gotham for all of us. At least to hear him out before you kick him out. I don't like this, Harvard, but I'm trusting you. Thank you, Bruce. Seriously. Okay, I know I need I have to your help. Don't touch that. After I've done this video, sure this okay. okay. Don't, don't touch morning, that. Bruce. Walk up, sky high ceiling. Okay guys, see you in the next episode. Bye.